Okay, you guys. Okay, so my name is Bella. For anyone who doesn't know, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't already, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come on back next time for more. Okay, so today, we are here to talk about vitiligo. We're gonna do a vitiligo update. This is 2021 and I think it's time for us to set some goals for our vitiligo and just be done with it and do all we can, help each other and just try to get rid of it because we're all tired of it, aren't we? Can we all, can we all agree on that? Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know, I have been documenting my vitiligo journey somewhat on here. Uh, it started a few, maybe going on four years ago now something like that. Wow, time is flying. When it first started, it was on my face. And I completely cleared up my face. I have no, it was on this side of my face actually. In particular, it was right here by my ear area. I had a spot on my nose. I had a spot um, by my eye and it all cleared up. And then I developed all my arms and as you can see on my hands, but they're all doing much better. They're all healing. It's a process, um, but they are healing. They're going away. They're getting much better. I tell you guys what I use, um, and you know, just hopefully that we can help each other get through this. You know, you can feel alone in this sometimes. So you know, I just want to create a space where you know you're not alone. Where we're trying to, you're not the only one dealing with this. We're trying to get rid of it. We are. I've had a few people contact me, ask me questions, tell me how they're depressed and just different things. And, you know, I just want to tell you guys, if you guys are feeling depressed and sad and down about it, don't. And I know that's just like easier said than done, but try your best not to stress. Stress is only going to make it worse. Negative feelings are only going to make it worse. That's actually what a lot of doctors and people say. They say stress can flare up the vitiligo. But stress is just bad for any disease, any illness, anything in your life. It's gonna make it worse. So don't stress, don't be depressed. It's just, I know, I know, it's your face, it's your skin, it's your body, and it's like, oh, you know, we're in such a superficial world, but there are people dying from cancer and who have limbs they've lost and different things, you know? It's, I'm not trying to minimize it, but don't let it get you down. Walk in confidence. Look at Winnie Harlow. She's a model, a supermodel with vitiligo. Don't let it get you down. It's not the end of the world. You can live a perfectly healthy life with it, but we are trying to get rid of it. That's what this video is about. So let's talk about how we can work on getting rid of it. And thank you to the people who come and let me know that things are working. That makes me so happy when you guys come to tell me like I've been trying this stuff and it's working. And I'm like, yes, hallelujah. So let's all celebrate together. Let's all keep it up and let each other know what's working, what's not working and try to find a way to get rid of these vitiligo, okay? Okay, so I found a lot of things that I want to try this year. I'm still doing some of the same things, a lot of the same things. I'll, I make, I've made a playlist of all my vitiligo videos, so if you haven't seen it, look at the playlist. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out or go to my channel and go to the playlist. I don't know how this works. While I'm filming this, I haven't done this before, so. There will be something down below, or if not, go to my channel and look for the vitiligo playlist and check out all my older videos. So you guys can see exactly how I started, the things that I changed, the progress that I made. Yeah. And there's a lot of new things that I want to try. Let me give you guys a little disclaimer. None of the stuff that I've done is like an overnight thing. It takes consistency. You have to be doing these things daily. You have to be consistent. I focus on natural things. I focus on things that, healthy things that are good for me, that aren't gonna hurt me, that don't have any crazy side effects. I mean, everything can have a side effect. You know, you could be allergic to anything, but um, things that are pretty natural and good for you. Nourishing our bodies and making sure we have everything we need so that whatever is happening inside, we're kind of combating it and let, allowing our body to produce that p pigment back. So, some things that I want to try this year. And you guys tell me if you guys have tried these things and if they work for you, if you guys have any things that I should try, let me know. Any things that I should start avoiding, let me know. You guys have 
I've done that a few times and I appreciate it. So thank you. Um, let me tell you guys some of the stuff that I'm gonna try to do. Hold on. Some of the stuff that I've continually done is you guys always see me in my copper bracelet. I always keep the copper on deck. I take my multivitamin, my whole foods multivitamin. I try to get sunlight. I've been taking my liquid chlorophyll, my sea moss. I gotta get back on my juicing. But turmeric, um, I wanna get more into turmeric though. Like I just found out that with turmeric, you're supposed to put black pepper in it to activate it. So I'm gonna try to start doing that. Let me see, I got a little list here. Let's, let's take a look. Um, papaya. That's something I want to start trying very soon. Like I've had papaya before. I keep hearing it though, papaya, papaya, papaya for vitiligo is good. And not just eating it or drinking it, but also rubbing it on your spots. So I'm gonna start doing that. Like that sounds good to me. Papaya, it's a fruit. I mean, so that sounds like an easy something I could do. So we're doing that. Red clay, I wanna look into that. I just found out something about, they're saying red clay is good to like put on your spots and let it sit on and it's worth a shot. I'm still using my vitiligo organics too. I didn't mention that. Neem oil, that's something I started using. It's, <laughs> I was using it, putting it on my skin, but I think I might start taking it internally too. <sighs> Neem oil is so stinky. Like it smells so bad. Like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That's like, that's been the hardest thing. Like just the smell of neem oil is just like bad. But if it works, I'll put up with the smell, but mm. I'm gonna get a B12 supplement with folic acid. Yeah, B12 with folic acid. I'm gonna get a supplement with that, with both of those things in it, because I keep seeing that come up. And I haven't, I've, I've taken B12 before for it with folic, but I hadn't been consistent, consistent with it. So I'm gonna get that and be consistent with it every day taking that. Some foods that I saw that I want to start incorporating are basil. Start incorporating more basil, they said is good for it. Uh, walnuts. Um, oh, I'm also gonna get a zinc and copper supplement. Vitamin D supplement and getting sunlight, vitamin D3. Question, I found something online called pigment protection. And it's supposed to be good for vitiligo and it looks pretty natural. It has some decent reviews it looked like. So have you guys ever tried it? If not, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna let you guys know. It's not super expensive. It was only like maybe 20 to $30 when I looked on the website. So it looked interesting. So I was like, hmm. That's me, I throw everything at this vitiligo. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna try it. Vitamin C, foods with vitamin C, like oranges and stuff like that. Put more of that into your diet or it's getting a vitamin C supplement is something. They basil, sunlight, reduce stress, B12 or folate that neem oil, the turmeric with the black pepper, um, red clay and papaya. Those are the main things that I'm using that I'm going to start being more consistent with in my diet to get rid of this vitiligo. I'm over this relationship. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be gone. I mean, I don't hate it. It's not the worst thing, but you know, I it's not something that I want, <laughs> you know, I wanna get rid of it if possible. So my, I see it fading, but I would like to see it fade faster, okay? So <laughs> that's the goal, to get rid of it faster. Like I said, anything that's just good for your body, just start taking it, like, just just like, like a vitamin, like any other vitamin, just start taking it because you never know what your body is lacking and what the reason is that you have vitiligo, you know? Something that works for me might not work for you, so just, try to give your body everything that it needs. Those are some things that I'm gonna try this year that I hope you guys join me on this journey of trying new things, incorporating things to our diet, foods, supplements, um, just being more healthy, um, reducing stress, doing, just having a positive mindset and being grateful, gratitude. Um, oh, something else I heard of, have you guys heard of Protopic 01? I don't know if that's how you say it, but I think that's a pro topic 01. I keep seeing this on my vitiligo forums. If you guys are not a part of these forums, go on Facebook and um, put in vitiligo and there's so many vitiligo groups and forums and stuff like that. I guess groups, I shouldn't call them forums, they're groups. And a lot of people tell things that are working for them or they ask for advice and you can look at the comments, see what people say. And this is one thing that people were saying without the pro topic with the papaya every day. Somebody put up a picture and said that that's what helped them. With the B12 supplement, I think it, it, it also includes like a B12 with folic. Have you guys ever tried it or heard of it? 
I'm looking into it. It looks interesting, so I might give it a shot. We'll see. I'm not 100% sold on that one yet because um, it, it's not as natural as some of my other stuff, so we'll see. But um, if you guys have used it, if it's worked for you, if you know someone who's used it, let me know. So you guys, this year, let's be consistent. None of this stuff is gonna work overnight. You gotta be consistent with it. That's the only way you're gonna see results. I've seen a lot of results in my skin because I've been consistent. So all these things, don't think it's gonna work in a week, a month, like keep using it and take pictures. When you're doing it, take pictures because you can't always visibly see the change, but when you look back at a picture, you're like, oh, it is changing, yes. But you can't always see it you know from the naked eye because you know you see it every day you can't it's hard to see change when you're looking at it every day but look at your pictures and you know you'll probably see the progress and believe have faith have faith and know that it's going to get better no it's gonna get better no it's gonna get better it'll get better you guys all right so if you like this video you already know what to do help a sister out and give it a thumbs up Subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff. And come on back next time. Well, all right, you guys. Until next time.